What's up, everybody? This is Chris Biederman of the Sacramento Bee with your 49ers post-game buzz following their 23-15 loss to the Washington football team down in Glendale, Arizona. The 49ers fall to 5-8, and eight, putting themselves even further back in the playoff race in the NFC. On Sunday, the 49ers, for, uh, the story for them was turnovers. They, they turned the ball over three times two of which went for defensive touchdowns to Washington. Chase Young returned a Jeff Wilson fumble for a touchdown in the first half, and then Cameron Curl uh, returned a interception from Nick Mullins um, in the second half, effectively putting the game out of reach. And then the 49ers also had a fumble uh, that led to a field goal for Washington. So 23 points, uh, you know, you give up three scores in a game you lose by eight. That's, that really hurts for the 49ers, given how well their defense played. They allowed just 193 yards against Washington. So Nick Mullins, 25 of 45, uh, 260 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Um, the 49ers have 18 turnovers now in their last 17 games. So obviously turnovers are a big issue. The 49ers you know, ran the ball okay. They had 108 yards on 27 carries. Kyle Shanahan you know, would like to get to that 30-carry mark each week indicating that his offense is, is playing well and controlling tempo and, and playing solid football opposite their defense. Um, Brandon Ayuk, 10 catches, 119 yards, another very strong performance from him. Um, the 49ers needed it because Debo Samuel left the game after the very first play with a hamstring strain. And Kyle Shanahan said afterwards that, quote, it doesn't look good, uh, end quote, for, for Samuel, maybe for the rest of the season. We'll have to see. He's going to get tested further on Monday, um, and the 49ers are going to have an idea about his availability going forward. So 49ers are 5-8. and eight. They'll play the Cowboys next week, and uh, they'll have to win out if they have any sort of shot at getting to the postseason at 8-8. Eight and eight, It's looking highly unlikely, but they're still clinging to those hopes. And uh, it's not time to turn the page to 2021 just yet. The 49ers are still hoping they can win out and, uh, and put themselves in the mix for the playoffs.